You know, it's never easy to say goodbye, and it's a story we wish we didn't have to deliver. But a treasure and well-respected longtime member of the News 4 team is saying so long tonight. After 30 years as a reporter, George Rickard is retiring tonight. We're so sorry to see him go, but he leaves us with dear memories and an impressive record of award-winning reporting. Every 20 minutes or so, we see a plow come in, they load up with salt, and they get right back out on the streets. They are different shifts relieving the other shift. How appropriate that one of the last times we'll see George Rickard as a reporter, he's standing in a snowstorm. And for those who own a boat... Reporting on Western New York weather and the great outdoors has been among his favorite assignments in his 30-year career. I've always been an outdoorsman, so anything that I can report on nature or animals is what I really, truly gravitated to the most. That love of nature is part of what is taking George away from his lengthy career in radio and television. He simply wants more time to enjoy the world outdoors on his own terms. One of the first things I hope to do and is finally cut down a couple trees in my backyard and, and then cut them up and then chop them up and then watch them burn. I, I enjoy all the woodsman stuff. George has fulfilled his dream, a dream that developed as he grew up in Buffalo's Bailey Kensington neighborhood of becoming a newsman everyone would listen to. I was the youngest of seven kids, and I was the talker. So if, if my brothers and sisters came home and I had something to say, I was the first one to announce it to them. And, and I, I think that's what, why I gravitated toward reporting. George's 10 years in local radio and that resident voice took him to four different radio stations before he landed at WIBB-TV Channel 4 for 20 years and found his real strength in storytelling. I hope that I'm good at simplifying things. I, 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 if I want to be remembered for anything, I'd like to be remembered for telling a story that people understood. And George is also mindful of the partners he's always had in storytelling. He's emotional about the bond he shares with the photographers focused on making his words vivid and real. I've enjoyed the highs and the lows with the photographer, and I've always gotten all the glory. And the photographer has always done so much more than me. And, and that's why I just feel they never got their, the gratitude that they deserve. George and those dedicated photographers leave us with so many memorable images, flying and reporting with Air One, or climbing up the inside of one of those giant wind turbines. But most memorable for him, the touching and dramatic story of a local veteran who lost his legs in service to our country, returned home, and later died in a fall from a coaster at Darien Lake. Hands down, the, the most memorable story, the most touching story was the story of Sergeant James Hackamer, life and death. It's a story George followed all the way to James Hackamer's final resting place. At Arlington National Cemetery in Washington, George Rickard, News 4. George was also moved telling the story of the Buffalo Five, men who spent half their lives in prison for murder, but recently had their convictions overturned. Meeting Johnny Walker and Daryl Boyd really impacted me, and I'm, I hope that telling their story meant something to them. But there have been many more lighthearted moments for George, usually outdoors, including the time he trailed a black bear on the loose that turned out to be tame, and George wound up in the bear cage. Bad bear. It was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And I think he sw sniffed my microphone at the end, too. I said, bad bear, and he sniffed my microphone, and it just made my year. <laughs> George has given Western New York so many great stories over these 30 years. His peers call him a reporter's reporter, a role model in the field of broadcast journalism. But he leaves us now deeply touched and forever grateful for what this profession and this community have given to him. To the people I've interviewed, to the thousands of homes I've been in, I appreciate 
meeting people. I appreciated kneeling on their floors and petting their dogs. And I, I hope that they remember me as somebody who treated them with respect and, and who did well for their story. Well done, George. You know, Thank you. and even the mayor of the city of Buffalo is recognizing your remarkable career, your talent. Here it is. It's a big proclamation. A it's proclamation. long, telling all the things you've done, including the time with the Diocese of Buffalo. So, Mayor is naming today, January 21st, 2022, as George Rickard Day. Wow. The mayor says George's stories have made a difference to the people in our community. I want you to know, George, we all consider you a true professional. Always came home with the bacon. You always had the facts right. You were our go to guy. You always met all those deadlines, and it's incredible. People don't understand the deadline pressure in this business. Thank you. And you did it with such a positive attitude. I respect you from here to kingdom come. Thank you. And to be colleagues of you and Jackie and Luke and Al and Marie Rice and Rich Newberg was, was a dream come true. I never expected to go higher than that. To be among the colleagues that I just watched and admired for years was truly the most I could hope for. Um, I, to the viewers, thank you for letting me tell your stories. Um, to the love of my life, my rock at home, Hetty Ann. I couldn't have had the career I had if, if she didn't do most of the raising of our children while she worked. That helped me to have the career I had and it, it, it allows me to retire when I can retire. So I love you, Hetty Ann, and I can't wait to spend more time with you. And I just, I look forward no to it. No more nights here, George. No more George, nights here. George, you're absolutely the gold standard. Thank you. We have all loved, loved, loved Thank working you. with you, and we Thank wish you. you the best. And you... now I'm going to cry. Hold Thank your you. head up high, <laughs> my friend. Jackie, you Job. captured my favorite well stories in there, too. So thank you for, for doing that. It's my honor. My honor. All right. Good <laughs> luck and goodbye. Thank you.